Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with MySQL. Our viewer is looking to create a select query that retrieves all user IDs that aren't associated with any games or availability between specific dates. In this case, they want to find users who are not booked between August 10th and August 12th, 2017. Let's break down the details and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To retrieve all user IDs that are not associated with games or availability between specific dates, we will use a left join in our SQL query. We will define our date range as starting from August 10th, 2017 to August 12th, 2017. Our goal is to find users who do not have any games or availability during this period. Now let's write the SQL query. We will select user IDs from the users table, left join the games and availability tables, and filter based on the date range. This query will return all user IDs that do not have any associated records in the games or availability tables for the specified date range. If you're using Laravel's Eloquent, you can achieve the same result using the Query Builder. Here's how you can write it in Laravel. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To find users without games or availability during a specific date range, you can use the not exists clause. This checks if there are no games or availability records for the given dates. Alternatively, you can achieve the same result using left join. This method joins users with games and availability, then filters out those who have records in the specified date range. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user prefers using Unix time dates over human readable formats to avoid confusion between date formats. They provide a SQL query that demonstrates a left join with group by and a condition using Unix time. They also mention a method to convert human readable dates to Unix time if you continue to use that format. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.